Hello, the purpose of today's training is to teach you how to clock in using the desktop version of ADP and how to request time off. First thing you're going to want to do is get signed in. From here you will see your desktop and including the uh, personalized messages, your pay, your employee discounts. Also, you would notice that here is your time. From here, you can press the button clock in, or you can go to myself, my time entry, which will also pull up the option of clocking in here. Now that we've clocked in, we receive the green message, which shows that I've clocked in at 1.32 p.m. In order to see what my time card is looking like, I will click on myself and go to my time card. From my time card, I can scroll down and go to today's date, Thursday, where I have clocked in at 1.32 p.m. This is not necessary unless you are double checking your time. As you can see yesterday, I failed to clock out after clocking in at 3.35 p.m. So I can click there and put in the time that I left at 6.30. The letter P will indicate um, p.m. and I can hit enter. This is not sick or vacation time, so I'll leave that blank and I will hit the save button. Please remember that this clock in will now show up, but it needs to be approved by your supervisor. So therefore, if you need to add a note, right click, add note, and leave a short note to your supervisor. You'll see that the note is here now. Other options that you can do while you're in here is request time off. So you're going to go to myself, time off, or home, my time off. Here we can show balances and see the balances for each of the policies that are set up. If I change the date, I can see balances if they are changing based on the time off that has been approved. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here I can press request time off. And it'll take me to this screen. I can click the button here to request time off and another window will come up. The start date for my request is June 1st, 2023. I'm only taking one day off, so my end date will also be June 1st, 2023. I'm going to select that this is vacation and the reason code auto populates for me. My start date time is already at 9 o'clock. If it doesn't populate, I can put 9 o'clock as my start date time. And I generally work 8 hours per day, so therefore I'm going to have 8 hours auto-populated. If it isn't auto-populated, you can add the information there. If I have another date I'd like to request, I would go ahead and put in I need June 2nd. And I'm going to use my Cali sick time and the reason code um, is that I'm sick starts at 9 and 8 hours for an all-day appointment so when I click on review
Oh, we need to change the date. Sorry about that. This employee was new and can't start using the time until August 4th, so we will put August 10th, 2023. That'll change the dates and get rid of that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, warning. Now we can review both requests. You see my vacation full time and my Cali sick, and then I can submit them here. I get a success message, press close, and now on my time off screen, you can see the two dates that I have requested. The status of these requests is showing as approved. The actions is I can view it or I can cancel that time off. Any questions regarding this, you can please uh, call your HR department. Thank you for watching.